Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about circle. And this is the second part. Let's start. Let's begin with regions of a circle. So let's start with points inside the circle. So first, let's have a circle A. Draw a circle. And then insert some points. D, point E, point F, and point G. Now, first thing, points inside the circle, in Tagalog, ito yung mga points na nasa loob ng circle. So, in this case, those are point E, point A, and point B. And the formal definition of this is those are the points whose distance from the center is less than the radius. Now, let's move on to the second, points outside the circle. So, ito yung mga points na nasa labas. So, in this case, in our diagram, those are points F and point D. So, yun yung mga points sa labas ng circle. And the definition, those are the set of points whose distance from the center is greater than the radius. And letter C, points on the circle. So, ito yung mga points na nandoon mismo sa circle natin. So, in our example, those are point C and point G. So, again, the definition, those are the points whose distance from the center is equal to your radius. So, please take note, yung mga definition na nabanggit natin, kasi magagamit natin yan sa mga susunod na topic natin about circle. Okay, so let's move on to arcs and its measure. In the figure, from point A to point C, this is called an arc. So, from point A to point C, ang tawag natin doon is an arc. So, yung arc is a portion of your circle or simply part of your circle. And we use the symbol na parang rainbow to denote a portion of a circle. So, in this case, tatawagin natin siya as arc AC. Meron na tayong apat na symbol na nakikita sa ngayon. Meron tayong line kung saan meron tayong arrow in both direction. Meron tayong segment. Meron tayong ray na may isang arrow lang sa isang direction. And ito yung bago. We have an arc. Okay? So, let's continue. We have three categories of an arc. The first one is a minor arc. So, what is the definition of a minor arc? Minor arc is an arc of a circle whose measure is less than 180 degrees. So, yung isang buong bilog ay 360 degrees, yung kalahati niya is 180 degrees. Kailan natin masasabi na ito ay kalahati? Kapag nakakita tayo ng diameter. So, in this case, segment DC is a diameter. So, lahat ng arc na hindi lalag pa sa diameter is considered as minor arc. Let's have an example. So, this arc ay hindi lalag pa sa kalahate. So, meaning, yung arc BD is an example of a minor arc. Another. We have arc BC. And this is also a minor arc. Reason hindi siya lalagpas sa kalahate. Okay? And we have also arc ED or DE. Iyan ay hindi lalagpas sa kalahate. So, iyan ay minor arc. And the last one is arc EC. So, di ba? Napakadali lang. EC. So, yung arc EC is a minor arc kasi hindi siya lalagpas sa Kalahate. Now, let's proceed to the second. We have a semicircle. It is an arc of a circle whose measure is exactly 180 degrees. Ito ay kalahate. Now, example, we have this arc. Itong kulay dilaw. Tanong, paano natin siya papangalanan? Hindi natin siya pwedeng sabihin na arc DC lang. Tanong ay bakit? Kasi pag sinabi natin arc DC, paano naman yung nasa kabilang side? Arc DC din naman yun. 
So para mas much better na ang tinutukoy natin ay itong kulay dilaw, gagamit na tayo ng tatlong letters sa pagname ng art. So again, yung art, pwedeng tatlong letter. Yung line, yung segment, yung ray, lahat yan ay tig to two letters lang. Okay, so continue tayo. So we can name this as art D, B, and C. So isasama natin yung isang point na nasa pagitan nilang dalawa. Nakuha. Another example ng semicircle is this arc. And papangalan natin siya as arc D, E, C. So kasama natin yung isang point na nasa loob ng arc na yan. Pwede rin natin pangalanan yan as arc C, E, D. Same lang yun. Okay, so let's move on. Letter C, major arc. Ano naman yung major arc? It is an arc of a circle whose measure is more than 180 degrees. In short, ito ay lagpas sa kalahate. Let's have an example. This arc, obviously ito ay lagpas sa kalahate. So in this case, ang tawag natin dyan ay major arc. Ito yung kailangan yung tandaan. Basta lumagpas siya sa diameter. So, isang basis nyo, hanapin nyo muna yung diameter dyan. So, ano yung name nyan? Pwede natin tawagin nyan as D, B, E. So, R, D, B, and E. Or simply, pwede rin natin siyang D, C, E. So, R, D, C, E is equals to R, D, B, E. Equal lang silang dalawa. Bakit naging equal lang? Kasi yung B and C ay nasa loob nung arc na tinutukoy natin. Okay, pero tatlong letter lang kasi yung pwede natin gamitin, hindi pwedeng apat. Kasi tatlo lang ay sapat na. Okay, so let's move on. Another major arc is this arc. Lagpa siya sa kalahate. So pwede natin siyang pangalanan na arc D, E, B. From D, E, B. Next. Another is this arc. Pwede natin siyang pangalanan as arc B, D, C. From B, going to D, up to C. This is a major arc. Ang reason, kasi lagpas yan sa kalahate. And last one. Meron tayong arc C, B, E. From C, B, all the way up to E. Okay. So, let's have some example. So, suppose, arc EC is thrice arc ED. So, yung EC daw ay tatlong beses ng laki ng ED. And arc CB is equals to 68 degrees. And determine the value of the following. We have 1, arc ED, 2, arc DB, and Number 3, arc BED. So, let's answer. Number 1, arc ED. Gagamitin natin yung ating first clue. So, sa first clue, ang sabi dyan is yung arc EC ay tatlo ng ED. So, ito yung arc ED. Ibig sabihin, pwede tayong maglagay ng tatlong ED dito sa arc EC. Okay, gawa tayo na. So, isang ED, isa pang ED, at pangatlong ED. So, isa, dalawa, tatlong ED ang kayang ipasok sa arc EC. Now, ito ay semicircle. Yung arc DEC. Yung kalahati ng circle is 180 degrees. Hinati natin sa apat. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Kasi lahat yan ay kasing laki ng ED. So, 180 divided by 4, meron tayo dito ang 45 degrees. We have also 45 degrees here, 45 degrees, and 45 degrees. Therefore, yung ED is 45 degrees. Okay? Next, arc DB. So, yung arc DB hinahanap natin, pero may given na arc CB. 
yung arc CB natin ay 68 degrees. Now, we know yung arc D, B, C ay kalahate. So, ito ay 180 degrees. Ito ay semicircle. Kung ito ay 180 degrees, meron na tayong 68. Ano pa yung kulang? Very good. So, 180 minus 68 is 112 degrees. Therefore, yung DB is 112 degrees. Now, in the last one, arc BED. Asan yung arc BED? This one. B, E, hanggang D. Tanong, ano daw yung measure ng arc na yan? So, it's simply the sum of 68, 45, 45, 45, and 45. Or simply 180 plus 68. And we got 248 degrees. So, arc BED is 248 degrees and we're done. So, that's all for today. And as always, that's it.